Hello and welcome to today's vlog on the 17th of October. I'm going to take a look at the puzzle uh, now. I'm going to work through some of the clues with you. Um, this is a puzzle, it's quite, I think, an interesting one in a way. It's got an, a lot of allusions to the classics, so if you're a classicist you should love this. Um, either the clues or the answers, probably about 50% of them contain an allusion to, to the classics in some way. Um, and I think several of the clues here benefit from a very, uh, a very careful, a very tight reading of the clue, uh, and that's why I thought it might be a good to, uh, to work through. Um, just as it, I think it's quite an instructive crossword in that way. So without further ado, let's let's have a look. Um, as usual, uh, if I, I ask you to pause, that's that's the time to pause the video because I'm about to write in the answer. Um, so, one across. Caption rewritten to protect leader of Lord's spiritual. Um, actually a generous start from the setter here. This is, um, uh, as hopefully you can see, it's an anagram of caption, uh, rewritten being the anagram indicator, uh, around the outside of, the, of an L for the leader of Lord's. So, have a think about that and pause. And the answer is platonic. And I think a lot of people will have will have managed to to get that, so they'll they'll feel like they're off to a quick start, but maybe a, maybe not a quick finish. Um, so two down. Um, one's honour in life, less it less if solitary. And you can see that even as I've read the clue there, my my tongue sort of tripped over it because it it read slightly strangely. Um, so. The thing that we need to be very careful about reading here uh, is especially the sort of penultimate part. So, in life, less if. Now, hopefully, you can see that within the word life is the word if. So, when I solved this clue, and I think I had the L at this point, I could see that I could put the L and the E of life uh, around the edge of something. Of something that was going to mean one's honour, um, and the L and the E of the li of life being the only things required because we we were taking away the if. So I knew I was looking for a word for solitary, eight letters like this. Um, so and you need to put inside of it six letters that could mean one's honour in some way. So you might be able to guess the answer and then work back to see. Um, see how the wordplay works, so pause, and there's the answer there, so ones is just totally plain text, you can just put the letters of ones in, and then order of merit for OM, which is an, an honour. Um, okay, three down, um, flavouring rib and leg with salt, so again, the, the use of with there, with salt, suggests that that's wordplay to me, so we're looking for an eight-letter word meaning flavouring, um, and salt in crosswords, as we as we've seen over the weeks, uh, is almost all, always uh, well. It's not almost always, but it's very often referring to um, uh, a seaman as a, a sailor. So and we've seen before there are lots and lots of abbreviations and little words used for sailor, but one of them is tar. Um, so, with that starting T there, that looks quite good. So we're looking for an eight-letter word for flavouring, probably beginning T-A-R, and then with some little words meaning rib and leg on the end. So have a think about that. Leg, remember, can often be uh, a cricketing reference. Um, I'm going to type in the answer now. Tarragon. English lecturer raised point. Okay, so this again, the, if we look at the centre of clues, which is something we recommended to do and look for instructions, we find the word raised in there. So it looks like we need to raise, or it begins with N, so it looks like we need an E for English, a three letter word for a lecturer, and then we're going to reverse those four letters that we're going to get and that's going to give us a four letter word for a point. So have a think, putting in the answer now. 
five down. Um, well, <laughs> uh, Dodgson right in tune with literature initially. So again, we're quite generously with literature initially. That looks that's quite clearly wordplay. So we're looking apparently for a synonym that means Dodgson. And you may know this. You may know the um, the real name of the author of Alice in Wonderland. If you do, you could just write it in. Um, but if you don't, you're um, you're going to have to work on the wordplay to get this one. So we've got a five-letter word for a tune with an R in it, followed by an L for the starting letter of literature. So have a think. Lots of Lewis Carroll. I think his name was Charles Dodgson. I, I may be wrong. If I am, apologies. Um, Ten across. I, I like this clue. Um, butter in hospital, leaving taste less refined. Um, and the reason I liked it is that it, it's quite hard to see what the definition is. Um, uh, in this context, I can tell you that it's um, it's butter in. <laughs> so somebody who butts in is um, is the definition, and then. Hospital leaving taste. Well, H can be an abbreviation for hospital. So it looks like we're looking for a word for taste that we can remove an H from. And then, you know, some other letters that mean less refined. And you can see, I think if you look at the pattern of letters we have in the grid here, if something's less refined, it probably ends in ER, that word. So, you know, cruder was certainly something that occurred to me before I thought of the the shorter alternative. So pause and the answer is uh, intruder. Somebody who butts in. Uh, so again 12 across he wrote a line about good companion. So a couple of ways this, this could be read I guess. I mean it could be the name of a companion but that didn't seem very likely to me. It, it felt to me when I read the clue like the definition was just he wrote. So we're looking for the name of an author. Uh, and then line about good companion. Well, there are again a few ways one could read this. Um, companion can be abbreviated to CH, uh, which is certainly something I thought about, uh, but that's not relevant here. Uh, and line obviously can be abbreviated to L, and good can be abbreviated to G. Um, and both of those are relevant here, although of course line has so many little synonyms um, that it's it's often hard to alight on the right one as you're you're working on the clue. So here, uh, I'm not going to give you more because I've told you that you need an L and a G in there, and you can. If you guess an L at the start, you'll be well on your way. So pause, and the answer is long for uh, so Where should we go? Heroic lover with piercing sidelong look. Another good clue. Um, so here, you're looking for the name of a heroic lover um, and then you're looking for a word or an abbreviation for with inside a word for a sidelong look and certainly you should be thinking if you're familiar with what we've been doing over the last few weeks of with with can be abbreviated to W, so that's certainly something to think about. It's not actually what you need here. Um, so you're looking for another short word that can mean with. So have a think, and the answer is gambler. Hero Club are being uh, quite an amusing pun. Um, Okay, so let's have a look at let's have a look at 15 down, which again 
required quite quite careful reading. So here we've got row about books possibly disheartened retired printer. Sorry, I just had a text message actually from Mark who's currently in Bangalore um, for the World Sudoku Championship and I think he's in 33rd place for those of you who follow such things at the moment. That's, that's a very good performance. So hopefully we'll keep that up. Um, right, so let's come back to this. A row about books possibly disheartened retired printer. So the way we need to read this is it, it's, it's difficult actually to, to see. You're looking for a, the definition is printer. Um, and we're looking for a short word that can mean a row and then book, about books, well when you see books in crosswords you're either normally looking for the abbreviation you know B or double B or something like that or probably more often it's a reference to the Old Testament or the New Testament so OT or NT and then possibly disheartens well, that's saying take the outside letters of the word possibly, so the P and the Y, and retired obviously is then a reversal indicator. So that's all the sort of component parts of the wordplay that you need to think about. So try and shuffle them around in your mind and come up with a word that might mean a printer. That's quite an old type of printer. I'm going to put it in now. So you can see the PY reversed there after OT for Old Testament uh, with line all, all around the outside. So quite difficult wordplay. Whereas on the other hand, 21 across is incredibly simple wordplay. Military alliance in collision at once. Well, you may be able to see that this is a hidden word uh, clue. So that the answer actually appears in the words in the clue. Pause. NATO. Um, I mean, this was this was pretty difficult. Joint ruler and poet wanting start on time. So the definition here is joint ruler. You may wonder what that what that means. I, I think what what the compiler is getting at here is it's somebody who shares the. Uh, duties of ruling with with other other rulers <laughs> um, and then what we're looking for is a an eight letter poet who doesn't have his starting letter uh, and that's going to follow the t there for time um, so the poet you may or may not know it but the, if you see it with the word ruler and you're looking for a, a synonym it's very often uh, useful to think about, you know, whether there could be an arc at the end, you know, as in an oligarch or a cutarch or various other types of arc, and that's it is something like that you're looking for here. And the answer is Tetrarch, which is Petrarch, who is the poet, Italian poet, I think, um, uh, without without his beginning. Um, so, I'm just going to take a quick look to see. I'm going to just talk briefly about some of the other clues, just to give you a start on them. So, six down is an, is an anagram. Um, uh, seven down is material from Derbyshire, is, is, the, is the clue. And then you're looking for a four-letter word for depressed and a four-letter name of a man for chap. Um, This was a difficult clue, I thought, 14, 14 across. Well, medical man with drill causing misery. Um, so you're looking for one of these two letter abbreviations for a medical man. Um, so just off the top of my head, there's MO, DR for doctor, GP. Um, um, so you're looking for one of those. And then drill here is being used as in um, PE. No, I'm just going to tell you it's, a, you know, it's, it's in physical education. 
So try and shuffle up some of those possibilities and see if you can come up with a four letter word that means uh, a misery. Um, then, okay. Uh, this, this was okay, 17 across, so it's a seven letter word that means gag. And first couple from Lebanon, well that's fairly obviously the LE from the start of Lebanon. Um, and then you're looking to put the LE in a word that means after. Think about that one. This is a 22 across as another anagram. Um, so that's very doable. Um, remember in 20 down that golden, if you see golden in a clue, that can be abbreviated to OR. Um, and that's very helpful for that one. And which other one should we have a look at? Well, okay, let's just cover this bottom right hand corner in a little bit more detail because this was uh, this was difficult. Certainly 19 down, 25 across, 24 down are all pretty hard. Um, and I imagine um, that if people get stuck on this puzzle, the experienced guys get stuck on this puzzle, that's where they're going to have got stuck. Um, so we'll, we'll look at uh, 24 down first, which is probably the simplest of these. Um, game found by river deep but not wide. Okay, so this is a four letter word for a game. And as you do more and more of these puzzles, you should become, you know, there are so many four letter games that uh, are possible. And, you know, Kino from a gambling context, Ludo, Faro, Golf, Polo. So you should be thinking about one of these four letter games. Um, found by river, deep but not wide. So we're looking for one of these short words, which is the name of a river. Um, this is the shortest river I know that isn't actually the abbreviation R for river. So it's a two letter river. And then you're looking for a three letter word that means deep um, without uh, a W that appears in that word. So wide is in the cricketing, cricketing wide, which is uh, abbreviated to W, uh, is removed. So have a think about whether or not that might fit any of the games just mentioned. I'll put in the answer now. Polo. Difficult clue. The, the Po River, though, you do see it from time to time. Um, yeah, this, this was very hard. So 25 across, charming area within reach across river. Well, what do we need to know here? It's an eight-letter word that means charming. Area can obviously mean any number of things, but it can also just be the abbreviate, abbreviated to A, and that is relevant here. And then the river that we need this time is the most simple version, so it's simply the R uh, abbreviation for river. So we're looking for a six letter word, which means within reach, which we're going to put around an R for river to give a word that means charming. So have a think, it's not, it's not, I don't think it's that easy to come up with the answer here. I kept on fixating on aromatic when I was solving it, but in the end I did put in adorable. So if something's doable, it's within reach. And then 19 down, it's not, it's not maybe that hard a clue, but if you don't know the word, it's not, it's not easy either. So opening cold beer expose rabble. Well, the way the wordplay works in this case is it's saying that take a C for cold and then a three letter word for a beer. And inside that string of letters, i.e. opening that string of letters, put a four letter word, which means expose. And the whole thing is an eight letter word meaning rabble. Uh, uh, and it's a word that, it's also, I think it's a French word actually, that now it is in the English language. Um, so have a think. Oops. The answer is canaille. I think that's how you say that. Um, 
and um, with nail being the four letter word for expose in the middle of that, N not easy um, at all. Um, anyway, I think the rest of it, it is approachable, especially using the, t the, the hints. So have a go, let us know how you do, and we'll see you again tomorrow.